so before I get started, I was just going to fill you all in and where the heck I've been because it's been a while since I posted a video. So where I'm at right now is I am at a, I, I bought a home last year, dude, well I'm going to my second year now, but the biggest problem I have is I don't have anywhere to put anything. So right now I'm building a small 12 by 20, yeah, 12 by 20 garden shed to start storing stuff in. So it's been kind of taking up some of my time and I've also been clearing out a little area for a 40 by 60 shed that's gonna be my main shed. It's where I'm gonna take everything, I'll put it in, this is where I'm gonna be doing the rest of these videos. Um, on top of that, my wife wanted a she shed in the back, so now I'm kind of working with that foundation. Um, check out the video real quick, I'm gonna be putting those on YouTube. Um, so, So, um, where was I? Where am I? So I already did this like one time already, and instead of hitting record, I hit the photo button. So this is like the second time. I'm repeating myself basically. Um, so I, if I missed anything, I guess I missed some things. So I was able to figure out this deal. I guess I need to find a magnet. That was painful. I'm glad y'all didn't have to watch that because I was gonna put that on there, but it was like I had no idea what I was doing until I did know what I was doing. So let's bring that up here. So where I'm at right now is I got the tool on. Oh. Okay. I got the tool on here. I got the um, let me go the, other way. the valve spring is compressed. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this retainer off now. There's a little clip. So that's where we left off. I got the handy dandy magnet, and it's too big. So what I figured I can do is kind of work in tandem here. What is I'm gonna have to find that. I don't know if y'all saw that, but don't do that. So this is a intake spring and valve. Here's the keeper, or the actual top of the spring. I'm sure we can call that right now. The old spring. Pretty stout. I have the specs on these. Uh, I'll have to pull them up. Let's get this valve out. There it is. Look at that. That is crazy. Can you all see that? I mean... That's just nuts. Okay. So, enough of that. I'm going to kind of get these cleaned up. And then uh, go from there. I also need to find somewhere to put all this stuff so I can keep it together. Oh, oh yeah. Let's have a look at the other side. These are the reason I'm taking these valves off also is to get them cleaned because this thing is just ridiculously dirty. And before I even decide to port this thing, it is getting cleaned. Okay. So 
in there. There's the other piece. I'm literally getting oil everywhere. All right, so there's that. So y'all saw one. Um, I'll just time lapse me taking the rest off. Okay, real quick, I'm going to go over some of the, um, the specs on this heads. So this would be the exhaust ports. They're Siamese ports. And so this is the exhaust at the valves. And we're looking at 0.827. And then metrics, about 21 millimeters on the exhaust side. Zero it out again. We'll do the intake. Okay. Point nine nine point nine six six of an inch or twenty four point five four millimeters, somewhere around there. Okay, let's zero this out. That's the intake side. We'll do the intake side on the manifold side. <clears throat> Kind of show you all what this is about and these are different sizes and i'm not really sure why they did different sizes maybe just different velocities coming in not really sure because the exhaust is exactly the same on either side i'll kind of show you that here so the small port is we'll get inside here a little bit because it opens up so 0.963 and then if we go to metric, 24.47. That's on the small Siamese port in the intake. And then we go to the exhaust. I'm trying to go as deep as we can because if you get on the outside, like just for instance, let's do this real quick. So on the inside it shows 26.4 millimeters or an inch or 1.039 inches 
And then if I go farther in, you'll, you'll see that it gets a lot, or actually if I go farther out, it gets a lot bigger. You know, if I almost go to where the port matches up to the intake manifold, now we're at, we're at 1.36, go to millimeters, 34.62 millimeters. So there's kind of a lip in there. Wait, let's, let's go to the exhaust side. If this falls, that would be crazy. Okay. So we're looking at... one point five seven seven inches wide. Go to metric. 40.05 millimeters wide. And then if you go top to bottom, which this isn't precise because it has a lip on it. We're looking at... 0.967 of an inch or 24.57 millimeters so there's the head specs all right in the moment y'all been waiting for maybe maybe not but my intake manifold So this intake manifold by Banks, which shout out to Banks, they did a really good job on this. They have the only one on the market right now, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it is powder coated by yours truly. Did a pretty good job, I know. Um, got to look around it. I got the map sensor installed already. I did a little machine finish on the Banks there. I think it's a nice touch, looks good. I went with this red, that's what my intake color is going to be in my turbo. Um, kind of show you all the back side of it. And the bottom side. So I have been doing some porting. Some serious porting. Um, basically they just copied the design of the OEM uh, intake manifold. Which is pretty restrictive and it's definitely not port, mat port matched. I would not say at all. So um, as you can see, you can kind of tell how much bigger... And how much I've taken off. See these? You know, this this lip right here. See how small this lip is compared to this lip? Now this is good. I mean I got some size on this now, so let's let's kind of look at it here. Now, I've basically gone as big as I can go. I mean, I can go a little bit bigger, but I'm I'm running out of real estate here. I need to do a little bit more, but I got these new carbide bits, so I'm gonna try them out. Um, I mean, you can you can really tell on these that there is some real estate that can be taken off. And this is just porch mat, Por porch. I keep on saying porch. I'm on a yes. I'm in fact on a porch right now. These are uh, right now like basically port matched. Um, I can get a little bit more out of these, like a tiny bit, which I'm going to do out of these these right here. I'm going to get as much as I can out of these, and then I'm going to do the same with the heads. I'm just going to do a little bit. I figured maybe a 5% increase would be enough. Uh, that's what I did on these, and then you can kind of tell the difference here. Let me see if I can do this real quick. So it's all down again. So you can kind of see here, you know, again, there's a big... A big difference between the ones that I've already ported and the ones I haven't. So there's that. Wait. And, uh, kind of everything I have. I'm gonna show you all my shop real quick when I'm planning. But I'm first I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm I'm filthy. Oh wait, I don't know if y'all saw. I maybe showed y'all or didn't, but this is kind of the way I set up. My valve holder because I didn't buy a valve holder. Look at those valves. Dang. Can y'all see that? Crazy. Alright. Let's go do that. So here's my little garden shed. 
Um, I've been working on it for about a week now. Got the dirt leveled off, ready for concrete. I'm really excited about it. Right next to my garden. Kind of just coming along. I kind of made it out in the woods. I'm gonna leave it like this. So it's 12 by 15, or sorry, 12 by 20. There'll be plenty of room to put some stuff in. I'll have a workbench in there for now. I'll be able to work on the stuff I need to do. Uh, I'll probably finish out the motor in here. Uh, it will be a cinder block building, so it's gonna be stout. And then let's kind of go on and look at the big shop because that's where I'm planning on making most of my magic happen. Well, this is it. This is where my 60, 40 by 60 shop is going to be. It's going to be tall. It's going to be big. It's going to be cinder block. It's going to be exactly what I wanted. I cannot wait for this to be done. I'll be able to get everything I need to get out of my buddy's shop. <laughs> then I'll start being able to do videos on my own time. And this will basically be leveled off. Uh, it'll be two story in one section. It'll have a little deck overlooking the shop. It's going to be everything. It's going to be badass. I can't wait. Um, it's gonna have a two post lift because you really cannot like there's once you've ever used a two post two post lift It's just something that you have to have so let's kind of go on back You can kind of see a little bit better here It's gonna be awesome. I'm so pumped. I just I'm sorry if I'm rambling on I'm just super excited so then we keep on going farther back here and uh we go to the wife's little shed because she needed something. She wanted something. I've been spending all this time building my own stuff. She was like, why don't you build me something? I was like, what do you want? And she was like, well, I want a she shed. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to add that to the list. And maybe I'll build that before I'm a big shop. So here's where we're kind of at right now. I kind of figured I was going to try and do this this last weekend. Didn't have time. Um, it's going to be a 10 by 15 little shed for her. She's going to have a little porch it's all going to be finished on the inside a little desk a little couch a little futon she can read she can do her thing in here she can be secluded you know away from everybody else the shop will be right down the corner she'll have power wi-fi everything out here that she needs and it'll be right in the middle of the woods so i'm kind of pretty excited about this too all these builds are going to be online um probably going to start a separate channel i do have a construction business so i'm probably just going to start putting that stuff on there because you know i really don't have enough to do as it is so might as well just keep on adding it on, right? But um, I enjoy this. Um, and maybe one day I could become something. So, thanks YouTube. I will have more videos for you. I'm waiting on parts right now. Um, studs are going to be coming in, the main studs. When they do, the motor's going off to the machine shop, so I'm trying to get everything done right now. It's, it's hectic. It's coming. I know that I haven't posted in a while, but I'll keep you all informed and let's get this thing done how y'all doing youtube so if you like this video do me a favor and subscribe hit the subscribe button i probably don't have that set up yet but we'll get there and hit the like button and if you feel free to comment and tell me what you think any support is hugely welcome uh it'll help me out as a channel appreciate y'all thank you yeah.